Hey the folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Crystal Chronicles, this is episode 12. Um, between the last episode and this episode, I had a little run around trying to find out where the next dungeon is, the last dungeon of year 3, and I found out that it's Violu Sluice, to get you, pass back on over the Jigen River, and keep on going north, past Moshup Manor and Tida and stuff, and go through the next mi Miasma stream, and you'll end up right by you. The town on the left that you can see by there, is... It's just a normal town. You can buy some stuff, uh, change some equipment and all that sort of crap. But to do... But to enter there, you need to find a Shella Mark. I think it's called a Shella Mark. And you find those in Violus Sluice in this dungeon we got coming up. So let's get going. Long ago... Peace returned to this tumultuous land, and Liltis kept the highway safe. At long last, travelers walked the roads without fear of monsters. The Ukes constructed a great sluice to channel water down from Lake Shella, transforming Jagan Creek into a great river. Over time, the Jagan turned the vast plains of Fung into farmland, thereby providing food to people the world over. To us, this sluice is more precious than anything. Okay, I absolutely love this area, from the peacefulness of it, to the music, which is very cheerful. It's the last sort of cheerful place in the entire game, really. This... What a dwarf for? That's a good start. But yeah, it's the last sort of happy, cheerful place. It sort of reminds me of River Bell, you know? It's that very feel to it. Lots of water, lots of green stuff going on. I need to remember where this area is. Can we go down? No? Okay. Because later on in the game, if you want to skip a couple of years so that you can go for the last dungeon, you will want to come here and I think you cast life on flowers. Yeah, you cast life on certain flowers. I'm not going to take Blizzard just because I don't think it'll be that useful. So we're going to leave it. Kiwa is obviously good. So we're taking that. You should never leave a cure behind. Unless you've already got one. Okay, what's up? Yeah. There's quite a lot going on in this level. Quite a lot of different ways to go. Water. Okay, can't go that way. If you come back at a different time, try to get more mirror at a different point, then you can get... You can get to where the water is stopping us from going out. I think we were supposed to come here before we went to the other two dungeons, and that's why the enemies are pretty easy. <laughs> What's that? That's the mark of Shella, that's why we need to get into the town. Okay, what's this do? Oh, wait, 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 what did you do? Right, okay, so we made the key come out of there. It doesn't look like we can actually do it without... Oh god, here we go. You ready, folks? Right, that's what we need to do. You don't need to carry it or anything, because you can just do it now. Now we just need to find where to put it. Here's the flowers that you need to use life on if you ever want to come back here and skip, skip a couple of years so you can cross back on over the Jigen River. Because the Jigen River will dry up after this year, so you won't be able to cross over it again. Or is it after the next year? I guess we'll find out. I do love this place though. The way to go. Oh, definitely haven't been this way yet. <laughs> Some enemy. Gigan Toads! Yeah, Final Fantasy IX yet again. They're just everywhere, aren't they? Okay, I think I will take the fire. I get the impression that Thunder will be the weakness of the of the boss of this place, but who knows? It could be it could be anything really. You never know with this game. Are we going backwards now? Yeah, we're back at the start now, so that's where that leads to. 
I'm sure we'll miss a couple of artifacts here and there, but I'll just grab them later on. So it's going to be a point when... It's going to be a point where um, I'm going to have to stop the Let's Play for a little bit while I do stack grinding for the final dungeon. And, uh, you know, that's just going to happen. Life, nice. We don't need it, but it's a nice find either way. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Drill. We've had the opportunity to pick the drill up a few times now. It's only one of the stats plus one, so it's pretty crap, but, you know. We get the chance to get it again this time. I'm hoping that we will have something better, but if we don't, then it's there, so. Need another key. Let's chuck this one by yet. Come on out, key. Come on out. Yeah, there we go. Go on, Moogle. Go Mog. I'm assuming that this is the way we need to go, so we're going to go down first. I don't like going the right way the first time through games, you know. I like to explore, I like to get treasures, I like to see everything there is to see. I'm sure one or two of the artifacts are actually in the water, so we can't get it the first time through. Which doesn't really matter, but is a bit unfortunate. Anything else down here? Ooh, an ice bomb, look at that! That looks pretty cool. They can freeze you though with the explosion, so look out. And everything. Phoenix down. We want to take those, because by the time we get to the last dungeon, we're going to need loads of them. Book of Light. I'm pretty sure we've already picked that up before, and it gives you a bit of magic. Either one or two. Magic. Come on, Mog. I know you're going to be exhausted in a couple of seconds, and I'm going to have to carry it again, but... You know, we, we can make it, Mog. It's only a little chalice. Although he's only little himself, so... Yeah, no. It's all good. It's all good. I wonder if this will just lead to another part of... If we didn't, like, unlock that gate, maybe the gate is just a shortcut. Thunder, I will take you up. Oh, Griffin! I remember these taking a lot of killing. But if you use gravity on big enemies, then, you, you know, uh, that's gonna work out good. Oh, down he goes. Another life? Ooh. Have we got Phoenix? Two Phoenix downs on instead of Thunder. I would like Thunder, but we'll, have a, we'll find out soon if um, we really need that. If I have two players, this part's a lot easier. Because you can put the chalice in the middle somewhere. And one of you can stand on the switch, but, you know, obviously you can't do that on one player because there's nobody there to stand on the switch. How's that one up there? Right, that's good. That's what we wanted to happen. We can open that gate up there now. I don't know if we actually need to open the gate. I think it is just another way to come this way, you know. Meet up in the middle now with the other gate that we opened earlier. <coughs> I love the music, yeah. One of the best bits of soundtrack in the entire game. I think. That's what I reckon. We're gonna go right first, because I wanna see if it is the other side of the gate. Yeah it is. It's just the one we unlocked earlier. And I've said that about five times now. That's good now. <laughs> another griffin, another slow inducing flan. Carrot. Nope, don't want a carrot. Oh my god, there's millions of enemies around this area. Fortunately, they're not too powerful for us right now. Fish. I was saying earlier how gravity might be good for the big enemies, but I don't think I'd count this one unless... Unless you've got a bit less strength than I've got at this point, which... Might happen, I don't know. I don't know how, how much people do level grind before... Coming here. Marcashila, you'll need one every time you go in the town, I think. So if you want to pick up more, then go for it, but I'm not going to. It's just not really that important. To go in that town. I mean... If you're Yuk, by the way, you can go in there without the Marcashila. Shella. Sheila. Sheila's weak. Ooh, what have we got here? Alloy. I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of alloy, but... We'll take it. We'll take it. Take what we can get. Of course we can't go down there. 
this is going to be the easiest dungeon we'll be seeing in a long time. You know, we'll be seeing for, for a while. For a while. It's not an easy game from then on out. I'll just say that. And I'm not going to be stat building until until the end of the game now, before the final dungeon. So, if you have any problems, yeah. Ring of Blizzard. Oh, that's nice, actually. If you pick that up, then you will constantly have a Blizzard slot filled in in your command slot before you even start a level. So if you're using magic a lot, you want that. You do want that. And I think we'll get that unless there's like a stat plus two. Then we'll go for the stat plus two. But it's a good find, you know. <laughs> yeah. Get it if you can, and if you use magic a lot. If you never use damaging magic like that, don't bother. Ring of Kuo would probably be the best thing we could ever find, if there is such a thing. I can't quite remember myself. I keep walking into walls. What's wrong with me? Like a blind dog or something. Oh, grass this time. Can't walk through grass, can we? Don't be stupid. <laughs> yeah. Anything else wrong with you? Oh, don't you start. Good job I'm just about to put it down. Where to? Down there. Run for it! No, I'll get it. Don't, don't pick it up, Morg. I didn't mean to press X. Let's go. Boom on you get... Boom on you to get overtired, little Moogle. Goopa, goopa, goopa. And I think we're pretty much at the boss now. It's been a pretty short level, but I think we are. Yeah, boss time, folks. Yo! As usual, he's got his two little minions, so let's take them down first before they cast slow on us. It doesn't really matter if they do, but, you know, it'd be handy not to have to worry about that. Of course I got hit with slow. Okay. Oh wow, look how fast his health is going down. I'm going to try Thunder as well. We haven't got it on, have we? Okay, take Phoenix down off. That Phoenix down off. <laughs> Lizard ring! Nope, we'll split that, don't gravity, for this boss is not going to work at all. I want, I want Slow to, to leave us before we start casting spells. For obvious reasons. Wow, Thunder with loads. Put it down, Moogle, put it down. So which is better, Thunder or Attack? Thunder. I mean, with magic, it always feels so much slower than just using physical attacks. It probably does about the same amount of damage in about the same amount of time, but... It still feels like... Oh, it still feels like physical attacks are just... Faster. I, I just prefer it. In, in a lot of games, I prefer magic attacks, but in this game, physical attacks just feel a lot better.
and that is the end of year three. We're going to check out the letter, and then, just like with the end of year two, I'm going to cut the episode, and we'll do another episode where it just shows all the celebrations and the summaries of uh, everything that's happened this year, which isn't that much. We haven't done that much except for the three dungeons this time. Our sister Polly, it withered. Oh no, we're flowers. I'm so sorry, your favourite tree has withered. I took care of it every day, but the weather grew cold, and it lost all its leaves. I'm so very sorry. How dare you! <laughs> you killed my tree. <laughs> It'd be fine. Um, I would like to send her an iron sword, but I'm not allowed. I'm not even allowed to sell it, so... Who knows what's going on? I don't know. What should we send? I mean, they're a family of... They're a family of uh, blacksmiths and stuff, so let's check. Let's send some alloy. Why not? And there we go. This has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when, yeah, we'll pick our stats and do the whole end of year celebration thing. Same bit, folks.